Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center video, Reserving Resources for Business Groups. In this video, we are going to look conceptually at how a tenant administrator can reserve resources for a business group. Second, we'll show how resources are allocated to a business group in vCloud Automation Center. Infrastructure resources in a fabric group can be reserved for each business group. Reservations specify amounts of CPU, memory, and storage, including specific storage devices and networks. This allows multiple business groups to share resources from the same host or host cluster, but not consume more resources than what they were allocated. Using reservation policies, resource reservations can further subset the resources allocated to a specific group, creating different service tiers of resources. Within each tenant, multiple business groups can be created. Groups can share resources from the same fabric group. When we left off last time, we had just created a new business group called Field Training. Here, we'll be creating a new reservation and assigning it to the Field Training business group. To define a new reservation, continue to the last step in the Fabric Configuration goal using the Goals toolbar called Create Reservations. Alternatively, you can access the Reservations area by going to the Infrastructure tab and then selecting Reservations. For our demo, we will create a new reservation which will be tied to the business group we created in the previous video. When defining a new reservation, you can choose from various cloud, physical, or virtual compute resources. In this example, we will be defining a reservation against an existing vCenter compute resource. Reservations are assigned to compute resources, which are discovered after adding a vSphere endpoint to vCAC. Select vSphere to create a new vSphere reservation. When creating a new reservation, we can copy the fields from an existing reservation or define one from scratch. Let's do the latter. Choose one of the available compute resources, which are based on the discovered compute resources from our vSphere endpoint. Once a compute resource is selected, a name is automatically generated. The name can be modified at a later point in time if need be. Next. Choose the tenant and business group. For business group, we are choosing the field training business group which we created in the previous video. After choosing the business group, we can then optionally select a reservation policy. If no reservation policy is selected, VCAC will round robin all requests to any available reservation policies. A machine quota can be specified for this reservation, which will limit the number of powered on machines within this reservation. Generally, quotas are assigned further along in an implementation of VCAC. Next, specify the priority. When multiple reservations exist, the priority field is used to determine which reservation is given the resources being requested. A priority of zero is the highest priority allowed. We can also choose to enable or disable this reservation along with specifying any custom properties. Next, click the Resources tab. Here we will specify the memory and storage that will be allocated to this reservation. For memory, we'll choose how many gigabytes this reservation will reserve. As you can see, only a small amount is currently allocated. It is possible to over-reserve more than is actually available. Decide which storage paths to use using the various information available. Then, specify how much to reserve along with a priority. When finished, make sure to click the green check at the beginning of the line. Optionally, we can specify a resource pool, which is populated from any resource pools that are defined within vCenter. On the Network tab, we'll need to select one or more network paths. Choose a network path, and optionally choose a network profile, which will be used to specify a range of IP addresses. If no network profile is chosen, any machines created will leverage DNS. On the Alerts tab, we can optionally specify various capacity thresholds for this reservation. Move the sliders as needed and specify any recipients for alerts. For this demo, we will leave alerts turned off.
Click OK to finish creating your reservation. Our new reservation has now been created. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that it was informative. To learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available.